Okie dokie guys, time to cut our vinyl tube that we're gonna put around the pot's rims. Lay this down flat, grab yourself your average pen. What we we're trying to do is write a line on here that will show us where to cut. So I just keep it flat and I write along like so and keep my pen flat on the table. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So I just uh, wrap this around the, the rim. After we cut it, we'll put it on and we'll kind of make it fit. Okay, so I've got a line. I'm looking, visualizing it all the way through. All right, so I've cut these two different ways. I've cut them with scissors. I've also cut them with a razor knife. You have to have a nice sharp one. I did the old ch -ch -ch -ch. You kind of use your thumb as a lever. Glasses on. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. This is our old poor guy that uh, helped us out cleaning our drill bit yesterday. Pretty rough. Let's get rid of him. Yeah, you're through, buddy. Sorry, we're gonna replace you. That's how easily we're replaced, guys, right? There he is. He looks like a mean guy, but he's gonna get the job done. So, here's our line. We don't go like this, pivoting off of our elbow. No, 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 we pivot right here so we can't go into our jugular. I just kind of go like so ever so slowly. That's a pain in the butt. Much safer and easier with the scissors. And I'm just gonna cut right along. Just work your way down. And if you're a little wiggly wobbly, and it's, again, it's not a biggie. Let's try it with this. Once you get it started. Should we switch off to the scissors for a while? Not too bad, if you got strong hands. Hmm, what do I like more? The razor knife or the scissors? Okay, I believe that's it. Now we cut this stuff cold. Let's try heating the next one, see if it cuts it more easily. What do you think, guy? You got more in you? Let's put it in a hot bowl of water. All right, aren't you excited to see if it's uh, gonna matter if it's warm or not? It's still warm. Much easier. Holy moly. How cool is that? The other one was a struggle, wasn't it? All right, that was much better. So we'll pop this on the bottom pot and put our other one on the top and then we only have one more thing to do it has to do with this inner tube what so we got this cut let's feed it around and uh see where it overlaps and then we're gonna cut it so it just fits right around real nice okay so we have a little bit of overlap we're not pulling it tight we want it to sit how it wants to sit when there's a lid on it. Try to get these two points here to join together without having too much of a gap. You need to have a little bit of an air gap in there because we don't want to create a vacuum. Our lid's gonna sit like so. And we're gonna cut right chill. Try to cut it plumb, you know, so it meets nicely. Okay, pretty good. Now listen to this. Much nicer. No, no more clankiness. All right, I've heated this up, stretched it out a little bit. Let's see if I can get this on. I want this to be here. Go around this ear here, hold it from flopping over. Get that ear on there and get everything over. Now we can straighten it out. We'll get our top on. You want the handles to line up, that's great. So uh, what we're gonna do is just Okay, I think that is what you want to do. Kind of wrap it around the handles. Okay, go around the other side, middle section here. It's actually probably fine like that, but little overlapped blank, but look at how seriously tight that is for keeping this thing together. 
not letting anything get in there. I just love it. It does take a little bit of effort to get it on there, but that's bomber. And then when you have to take this off here, you don't have to undo the whole thing. Just wrap this around and just work it down like so. And then you can take that pot off, you know, you wrap it around. That is it. I think that is the final hurrah for this stealthy, beefy, bomber, travel friendly. What else do we call this thing? Anything but pretty, right? No, I don't think it looks bad. This is not something you probably need in your kitchen, but I wanted this as a an option for the van life folks, for the RVers. No, look at that, how cool that is. A little uh, cloth holder. So, I hope you liked it, you guys. This was a lot of fun. Got some other videos. Maybe it's up there or over there. Check them out. Try to make stuff easy. Try to make it fun. Try to make it cheap, but make it quality, right? I hope it lasts for my lifetime and even my kids' lifetime. Do I have to make one of these for all the kids? I think I do. Let me know, kids.